Hi guys, it's Luke from Luke's Mushrooms. We have Thursday the 7th of July 2022. This video is starting in Slovakia in this coniferous forest but I will show also some other finds from previous days. We have tons of these small white mushrooms here. all over the place and I think they are the hor horse hair parachutes or a very similar mushroom and behind us there is one very proudly standing mushroom I think it could possibly be some shield mushroom but I am not 100% sure Here we have a huge scarletina. This one is too old to take. It will definitely be full of worms, but the size is pretty nice. Here I have just discovered this good looking scarletina bolit. At first sight it looks quite healthy and quite big as well. So I just hope it will be okay inside. Let's check that. Stem is a bit soft, but so far doesn't look bad at all I think it's healthy there should be no bugs in there so I'm pretty happy this is the first mushroom to my basket after two days in forests. There are so many slime molds in forests these days. From distance they just look like some uh, white or other colored spot but when you do a real close-up you can see they have interesting structure. You probably cannot see it in the camera, so I enclose some pictures. And here is my first birch bolit, or actually orange birch bolit this year. This one is pretty huge and very much damaged by slugs. I will probably leave it here, but I'm quite happy that I can see this mushroom already. some more of these guys which could possibly be some kind of shield mushrooms as I said before but it could be something else as well I just don't know what here we have a nice green cracking rusula this one I will take this is the Rusula species that I like to take. It's a bit dry already, but you should be able to see how it looks like from the top side. From the bottom is a classic Rusula. At the end I didn't take the previous one because it was quite a lot damaged by slugs, but here we have a second green cracking rusula. So this one I will try to take again. Uh, the stem is very soft, I don't know if it will be okay. Here 
here I have one interesting find of these small mushrooms which are similar to babolids but they have much different color on top I'm not going to pick them because I'm not sure if they are maybe rare but for picture it would be very nice I've just found a group of beautiful red russulas I think these are not edible but it's very nice to have a look at them Here I have quite a precious find which I definitely didn't expect today I believe it's one special type of Lactarius and if it's that one it should be edible even when it's raw and people like it because it's supposed to have very delicious taste and here I have another interesting find from this forest I have already showed you one of these species already in my previous videos and this is I think the saffron bolete that was the English name of it and one more mushroom which is quite rare it looks like a summer tip but the colors are different it's a bit more yellow and I will have to cover it to protect it a little bit so no one picks it it's anyway very much damaged I'm trying a new forest now and I've just found a giant stinkhorn here smells horribly but I will take a picture of it and here we have my little yellow or orange favorites I hope this is a sign for the proper season finally starting so far the only mushroom which I find often in this forest is this And again, so many of them. Now I'm again in a different forest in Slovakia now and at first we can see a lot of bitter beach bolides like this one most of them are pretty old and huge in Latin this is Caloboletus calopus that's a mushroom we don't want to pick because it's very bitter but nearby there was a scarletina bolit I'm approaching to it
and this is a mushroom which is a little bit similar but this one is edible after being properly cooked and I pick these guys it's quite deep in the soil so it's not easy to take it out I don't want to damage the stem the stem is really long it's a bit damaged by some bug but I believe after cutting some damaged parts out this mushroom will be good the second one is here this one is not so tall it's a bit more fatty I like the shape a lot and I take these two because nearby there is one more so we have some really beautiful mushrooms around So nice. Time to clean them. This one looks very clean. fat one this one seems to have some worms in there but not many after some more cutting this one will be also good and let's check this guy this one will be good as well I just think I broke a bit of the hut And some seriously huge scarletinas. I'm wondering if they will be still good. If not the whole, maybe at least parts of them. This one got a bit broken and this guy looks still pretty good very firm this one is softer but after cutting them maybe they still will be okay we'll see let's start with this smaller one stem will be okay Check the hut. Could be usable as well. And the big one will be good. And there is one more young Scarletina. Seems like this forest is quite rich for them today. Here is the first blusher of this season. And first chanterelles. It 
but they are too tiny so we are not taking them and another amanita this time amanita fulva a small one here and next to it a bigger one and one more very huge scarletina very firm I broke it a bit but at least we can see it looks quite good let's cut it There are some holes from worms. But they don't continue to the hut. Another bunch of chanterelles. But they are still too tiny. So that's it from previous days and from today. This is all what we have found in this forest and I will be looking forward to see you in the next video. I will appreciate your feedback in the form of thumbs up or thumbs down and you can subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss my future content. So thank you all for watching till the end. Bye bye.